This is a KCCI 8 News Update. Welcome back. It's now 756 on this weather alert day where the snow continues to fall. And for hours now, we've been tracking the winter storm that's brought this massive amount of snow to our state. Take a look at these live pictures coming in from around Iowa, some of them coming from the north and south and all the roads around. Meteorologist Trey Fulbright is joining us now to tell us how much longer this snow is going to be here. Trey? Eric, we have several more hours to go with this storm here across the state. You can see it's snowing heavily right now in Lamoni. You note the winds are starting to pick up there as well, so that's going to become phase two of the storm. Strong winds and cooling temperatures as well. 31 degrees, wind out of the north at 17 miles per hour. We'll take it back to the metro now. This is West Des Moines. Typically, we can see Jordan Creek Parkway, the Jordan Creek Mall from this vantage point, but not this morning with those reduced visibilities from this heavy band of snow that's been setting up across the state pretty much parked now from Waterloo down toward Ames, Marshalltown, the Des Moines Metro, Winterset, Osceola and Creston for the last several hours. And within this band, we've had snowfall rates of one inch per hour or greater, and that continues to set up here across the immediate metro area. The band has begun to lose some intensity, but it's still snowing heavily right now in central parts of the state. The heavier amounts are falling down to the south and to the southeast, a little bit lighter off to the west, but the key is all all of us will see the snowfall rates begin to diminish as we move into the afternoon. This is by 3 p.m. Back edge of the snow now along Highway 63, Highway 65, and then points east to the Mississippi River. Clearing or clearing conditions off to the west, but still strong winds will be anticipated throughout the afternoon and tonight. We'll be back down into the lower teens tomorrow morning on top of that fresh snowpack. And then another fast moving system could come through, bringing some accumulating snow coming up Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. So travel impacts remain very high this morning into the afternoon. Blowing snow becomes the main issue by that point. And then we anticipate issues to remain even into the overnight hours. And we have a very active eight day forecast. Again, a chance for snow showers tomorrow afternoon, evening and overnight. A break in the action on Thursday. There's another potential system we're watching for Friday. Could bring more snow and strong winds. Following that, it turns much colder. Highs near zero for the early part of next week. Week. Yeah, that is a freezing cold extended forecast tray right now on the roads. The advice from law enforcement is don't go on the roads if you don't have to. And this is why much of the state, pretty much all of the state dealing with 100% covered roads, unless you're basically right along 29 from Omaha up to Sioux City. So don't go out if you don't have to. These roads are in pretty bad shape and we'll show you what they're dealing with. This is a snow plow out in Buckeye and you can see what they're dealing with along the roads here and that wintry mix that is really compacted to the ground there that they're trying to work on and treat and plow. I 80 out east of Grinnell. We've seen 80 start to get in pretty good shape. Looks like plows went out there. We did have a crash out here that had blocked the roadway on 80 east, but that is cleared up, so that is great to see. 235 at Valley West, though, look how tough this is. You can see that car going east, and it looks like the westbound lanes haven't been plowed in a while, so you're trying to stay in those tire tracks as you're driving at a snail's pace. Right now, the West Mixmaster has just got some blowing snow out there as well as this camera gets resituated and it looks like it's trying to find something there just past the bridge as it refocuses. So issues on the roads that have popped up here. People are going at a slower speed than normal. That's why you see that yellow and orange color out here, but we do have a couple of crashes to note here. One is out by uh, Stewart's on 80 West. The left lane is blocked out there due to a crash that happened about 30 minutes ago and then down south toward uh, Osceola. There's a crash that has the left shoulder block, so be careful no matter how capable your vehicle is or how skilled you think you are at driving. These are dangerous conditions for everybody on the road. Eric Scott, our KCCI teams have been out in the thick of the storm all morning long. KCCI's Alyssa Gomez has been driving with photojournalist Mike Simmons since about 430 this morning. Alyssa, where are you and what are you seeing? Well, we're near Stewart right now, Eric. We're heading east towards the metro, and signs all along I-80 have been telling people to take it slow, 40 miles per hour or less, or else you're going to be just slipping and sliding all over the road. The good news is the snow has finally started to slow down after about three hours of picking up and being really heavy, sticking to the ground. You can take a look at the road. That snow is still pretty much covering everything. You can't see any lines. And the problem is now that when the wind picks up, it's blowing the snow over all of the paths that the tires have made. The good thing now, too, is the sun is up. So it's kind of just this white abyss. At least you don't have to worry about those headlights um, coming towards you in the middle, you know, in the middle of the dark. Um, we've lost count at how many cars and semis we've seen in ditches this morning. 
This is really impacting everybody on the roads right now, but Iowa State Patrol has been out here and helping where they can. My best advice is to just stay inside. But if you have to be out here, make sure you have everything in your car that you need in case of an emergency. Make sure to grab some sunglasses, too, now that the sun is up. We're going to toss it on over to Bo, who is in Ames outside right now. Bo, what's it feeling like out there? Well, Alyssa, we finally have a little bit of daylight out here, which just makes it a little nicer. It's easier to see. No sun, but there is a little bit of daylight. We do want to show you, though, the difference between some of the more plowed thoroughfares through town here in Ames and the side streets. So the, the street off to right behind me here going north south, that second, um, it, it's been paid or it's been plowed once, but you can see there's still a bit of a dusting on it. Not too bad a shape, but on these side streets, you can see there's a solid uh, seven to, or six to seven inches of unplowed snow all up and down the street. The only marks in it are from our tires and the other uh, tires of the cars that have been coming up and down. You see some folks down there already getting a head start on their snow blowing and shoveling, but the snow is still falling, believe it or not, here on uh, Tuesday morning. Still coming down uh, pretty hard still as well, so they might have to get back at it later at some point today. But we're going to be out here the rest of the morning showing you the conditions. For now, we'll toss back to the studio.